The hippopotamus, Hippopotamus amphibious, also called the hippo, common hippopotamus, or river hippopotamus, is a large, mostly herbivorous, semi-aquatic mammal and ungulate native to sub-Saharan Africa. It is one of only two extant species in the family Hippopotamidae, the other being the pygmy hippopotamus, Coeropsis liberiensis or Hexaprotodon liberiensis. The name comes from the ancient Greek for river horse, Pi Pi Omicron Pi Tau Alpha Mu Omicron. A hippo's lifespan is typically 40, 50 years. Donna the hippo was one of the oldest living hippos in captivity. She lived at the Mesker Park Zoo in Evansville, Indiana in the U.S. until her death in 2012 at the age of 61. After the elephant and rhinoceros, the hippopotamus is the third largest type of land mammal and the heaviest extant artiodactyl, in the traditional, non-cladistic sense of the term, not including cetaceans. Despite their physical resemblance to pigs and other terrestrial even-toed ungulates, the closest living relatives of the hippopotamidae are cetaceans, whales, dolphins, porpoises, etc., from which they diverged about 55 million years ago. Hippos are recognizable by their barrel-shaped torsos, wide-opening mouths revealing large canine tusks, nearly hairless bodies, columnar legs and large size, adults average 1,500 kg. 3,310 pounds, for males and 1,300 kilograms, 2,870 pounds, for females. Despite its stocky shape and short legs, it is capable of running 30 kilometers per hour, 19 miles per hour, over short distances. Hippos inhabit rivers, lakes, and mangrove swamps, where territorial males preside over a stretch of river and groups of 5 to 30 females and young hippos. During the day, they remain cool by staying in the water or mud, reproduction and childbirth both occur in water. They emerge at dusk to graze on grasses. While hippos rest near each other in the water, grazing is a solitary activity and hippos are not territorial on land. The hippo is among the most dangerous animals in the world due to its highly aggressive and unpredictable nature. They are threatened by habitat loss and poaching for their meat and ivory canine teeth. Hippos differ from all other large land mammals, being of semi-aquatic habits, and spending their days in lakes and rivers. They can be found in both savanna and forest areas. Proper habitat requires enough water to submerge in and grass nearby. Larger densities of the animals inhabit quiet waters with mostly firm, smooth sloping beaches. Male hippos may be found in very small numbers in rapid waters in rocky gorges. Hippos mostly live in freshwater habitats. However populations in West Africa mostly inhabit estuarine waters and may even be found at sea. With the exception of eating, most of a hippo's life occurs in the water. Hippos leave the water at dusk and travel inland, sometimes up to 15 kilometers, 9 miles, to graze on short grasses, their main source of food. They spend 4 to 5 hours grazing and can consume 68 kilograms, 150 pounds, of grass each night. Like most herbivores, hippos consume other plants if presented with them, but their diet in nature consists almost entirely of grass, with only minimal consumption of aquatic plants. 70 hippos are born with sterile intestines, and require bacteria obtained from their mother's feces to digest vegetation. On occasion, hippos have been filmed eating carrion, usually near the water. There are other reports of meat-eating, and even cannibalism and predation. The stomach anatomy of a hippo is not suited to carnivory, and meat-eating is likely caused by aberrant behavior or nutritional stress. Hippo defecation creates allochthonous deposits of organic matter along the river beds. These deposits have an unclear ecological function. A 2015 study concluded that hippo dung provides nutrients from terrestrial material for fish and aquatic invertebrates while a 2018 study found that their dung can be toxic to aquatic life in large quantities, due to absorption of dissolved oxygen in water bodies. Because of their size and their habit of taking the same paths to feed, hippos can have a significant impact on the land across which they walk, both by keeping the land clear of vegetation and depressing the ground. Over prolonged periods, hippos can divert the paths of swamps and channels. Adult hippos move at speeds up to 8 km per hour, 5 miles per hour, in water, typically resurfacing to breathe every 3 to 5 minutes. The young have to breathe every 2 to 3 minutes. 
The process of surfacing and breathing is subconscious, a hippo sleeping underwater will rise and breathe without waking up. A hippo closes its nostrils when it submerges into the water. As with fish and turtles on a coral reef, hippos occasionally visit cleaning stations and signal, by opening their mouths wide, their readiness for being cleaned of parasites by certain species of fishes. This is an example of mutualism, in which the hippo benefits from the cleaning while the fish receive food. The hippos spend up to 16 hours a day in water as a way to stay cool. Hippos coexist with a variety of large predators. Nile crocodiles, lions, and spotted hyenas are known to prey on young hippos. However, due to their aggression and size, adult hippos are not usually preyed upon by other animals. Cases where large lion prides have successfully preyed on adult hippos have been reported, however, this predation is generally rare. Lions occasionally prey on adults at Gorongosa National Park and calves are sometimes taken at Virunga. Crocodiles are frequent targets of hippo aggression, probably because they often inhabit the same riparian habitats. Crocodiles may be either aggressively displaced or killed by hippos. In turn, beyond cases of killing the seldom unguarded hippo calf, very large Nile crocodiles have been verified to occasionally prey on half-grown hippos and anecdotally perhaps adult female hippos. Aggregations of crocodiles have also been seen to dispatch still-living male hippos that have been previously injured in mating battles with other males. Female hippos reach sexual maturity at 5 to 6 years and have a gestation period of 8 months. A study of endocrine systems revealed that female hippos may begin puberty as early as 3 or 4 years. Males reach maturity at around 7.5 years. A study of hippo reproductive behavior in Uganda showed that peak conceptions occurred during the end of the wet season in the summer, and peak births occurred toward the beginning of the wet season in late winter. This is because of the female's oustrous cycle, as with most large mammals, male hippo spermatozoa is active year-round. Studies of hippos in Zambia and South Africa also showed evidence of births occurring at the start of the wet season. 60, 61 After becoming pregnant, a female hippo will typically not begin ovulation again for 17 months. Hippos mark their territory by defecation. While depositing the faces, hippos spin their tails to distribute their excrement over a greater area. Yawning serves as a threat display. When fighting, males use their incisors to block each other's attacks and their large canines to inflict injuries. When hippos become overpopulated or a habitat is reduced, males sometimes attempt infanticide, but this behavior is not common under normal conditions. Incidents of hippo cannibalism have been documented, but this is believed to be the behavior of distressed or sick hippos. Hippos appear to communicate vocally, through grunts and bellows, and they may practice echolocation, but the purpose of these vocalizations is currently unknown. Hippos have the unique ability to hold their heads partially above the water and send out a cry that travels through both water and air, individuals respond above and under water. Hippos will also express threat and alarm with exhalations. Studying the interaction of males and females has long been complicated because hippos are not sexually dimorphic, thus females and young males are almost indistinguishable in the field. Although hippos lie close to each other, they do not seem to form social bonds except between mothers and daughters, and they are not social animals. The reason they huddle close together is unknown. Hippos are territorial only in water, where a male presides over a small stretch of river, on average 250 m, 270 yd, in length, and containing 10 females. The largest pods can contain over 100 hippos. Younger bachelors are allowed in a male's stretch, as long as they behave submissively toward the male. The territories of hippos exist to establish mating rights. Within the pods, the hippos tend to segregate by gender. Bachelors lounge near other bachelors, females with other females, and the male on his own. When hippos emerge from the water to graze, they do so individually. Until 1909, naturalists grouped hippos with pigs, based on molar patterns. Several lines of evidence, first from blood proteins, then from molecular systematics and DNA and the fossil record, show that their closest living relatives are cetaceans, whales, dolphins, and porpoises. The common ancestor of hippos and whales branched off from Ruminantia and the rest of the even-toed ungulates, 
the cetacean and hippo lineages split soon afterwards.